Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Makeup and More with Melissa. Uh, today's video, I was thinking about doing a drugstore video, doing a everyday easy fall look. So this is the fall, fall look that I came up with. All the products that I did use on my face are all drugstore products. And in fact, I believe I got them all at Walmart. So if this video interests you and maybe you'd like to follow along, then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So that way you know each and every time that I upload a video, which I've been trying to stick around for Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Tuesdays and Fridays. And let's get into the video. Hi there. Okay, so I am just gonna clip my hair back. Let's see if I can get most of it back. Ooh, that's lovely. Okay, so I thought I'd start with my eyes first and I'm going to use a palette that I had mentioned in my previous video of my seven top fall palette picks. And I'm gonna use the Maverick Revlon Colorstay palette. I just love this palette. I love the colors that you can get to work in it. I think it's just so fall. First, I am just going to put some base on my eyes. I will probably speed you through all of this. I'm just gonna set it with that light color. That way we don't crease. Oh, and I wanted to grab, I think, I'm gonna, we're gonna start with this pretty peachy color right here. It is a matte color, so we will start there. And I'm just gonna pop that right in my crease here. And you can see it's pretty pigmented. I hope you can see it. I have a lot of light coming in that window, which is nice. I took the air conditioner out of this window here and what a difference it has brightened my room up so much such a pretty color it's so pigmented reminds me of fall leaves what are you guys, your drugstore favorites? I figured this would be a whole drugstore look. Okay. So now I think I'm just gonna deepen it up and I'm gonna use this other matte color right up top here. We're just gonna progressively, but slowly deepen things up. Okay, so we've got a darker shade laid down. I think it's pretty even. So now I'm just going to take another brush and I think we'll go into this red, burnt red here. And I'm just going to angle it and kind of sweep it down across my lash here and then just bring whatever is left into the upper V here. Try to make sure they're both equal and I'm just going to take that clean brush and just blend it a bit. And I really like that, the way that it transitions. And I think we're gonna go into this darkest shade here. And we're just gonna lay that all the way down. 
just right along the lash line. Just really bring it up a little bit. That's so fun. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go into this shiny shimmer here. And I'm going to put it on this outer edge just with my finger. And the same with the other side. Pretty much to the center of my pupil. And then I am going to go into this gold right here, which is another shimmer, shimmer shade. Clean off my finger first and then make sure it's dry. And then bring that gold in like that. Same thing with the other side. And then I'm just going to take that brush that we were working with originally and I'm just going to just blend that out a wee bit like that and then i'm going to the go into this cream shade here and lay that up here by my brow and then we will do the rest of our face and come back and do the bottom lash line we're going to take a wet, a damp cloth and clean this up. Because I certainly went everywhere with it. Now for complexion, I thought I would use the Milani face primer. These are all drugstore picks. I actually have not tried this product, so I'm curious to see how I like it. I thought I would go my glowy color today. I've been doing more of the matte looks and I just feel like I'd go a little glowy today. Next I am going to use L'Oreal's Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation Foundation in Ivory 10. 
I've used this before. I'm just going to do it. Get it kind of spread it around here. And then finish blending it in with my beauty sponge. And I'm just going to add a little bit more. Kind of build it up a little bit. Okay. There, that's pretty good. And then I'm also going to use the um, Lori. Oh, let me put the cap back on. <laughs> The same thing, the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. This is in 200 Ivory. This is a really good concealer. I like this. I like this whole line a lot. It is very uh, forgiving to us older ladies. And whatever coverage you feel like you're not getting from that foundation, then the concealer is going to get you there. And I'll just take my brush. I'm just going to tap it in. And I still forgotten to pick up the powder to this. I've got to get the powder to this. There. That's so nice. Go around my nose here. I love that. That's such a great concoction there. Okay, and then since I don't have, oh God, I'm always dropping something. Oh, since I do not have the powder, I'm just gonna have to use my Elf's Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. Nice and drugstore-ish. just to prevent any unwanted creasing. And I'm just gonna do right in the T-zone area where basically all my lines are. There we go. And I am gonna go do my brows real quickly. I am not gonna film it. It's just regular brows. I will be back in a minute. Okay, so my brows are all done and we're gonna go in and do the lower lash line really quickly. So I'm just gonna go in right with this dark color using a very straight brush. And I'm just gonna press that up against the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into the red. And then I want to go into this orange color. And I just want to bring it down a little bit. Maybe to a quarter to a half of the eye. And then I want to go into the gold here, the one that we used, the one that we used on the interior part of. I'm just going to drag that. I just can't get over the loveliness of these colors. And then 
I'm going to do the rest of our face. I am using my L'Oreal Lumi bronzer and I'm just going to gently add some warmth in here. This is a really soft palette. It's a one and it's just light, but right now it's very nice. Oh, I forgotten. I had this other thing that I was going to try. I hadn't tried it. It's made by Hard Candy. I was going to try it, but maybe I won't. It's just a contour. Ah, it's a dual ended contour stick. And I just wanted to try it. I don't know. This could be a disaster. I'm just pressing on it in little stamping motions. Too bad. I don't know if it did all that much for me. You know what? It could be good for too. The nose, because it's pointy. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I'm always dropping something. Right, now on to blush. I picked these three elf ones out. I'm not sure which one I want to do. I might do these two. This is white peach and watermelon. Let's start with white peach. It's peach. I don't know. With this look. And I was going to try the little highlighter side. Love the highlighter. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of the watermelon blush just right on there right on the apples of my cheeks There, that's pretty. Now for mascara, I had picked a the Falsies Lash Lift waterproof in very black. I'm not going to do them online. Oh, and it came with a little free um, Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Okay, there we are. I put two coats on each side. Top and bottom, um, I like this Falsies Lash Lift. I like the brush and it, they look nice on my, eyelash, my eyelashes, so. Next, for the final thing, my lips. Well, I'm just gonna pop on some eye, eyeliner. I'm just gonna pop on some, what's the word, lip liner.
I when I when I saw this I I look I thought of these these magical things look at look at they match my eye color so I think this is what we're gonna go with okay so I think we're gonna try tough cookie so let's try that Get it out of this tube. Mm. What a lovely feeling on the lips. Oh, okay. There's Elf's ride or die. I forgot what they're called. Lip balms in tough cookie. Let's sit back here and see what we have going on. Assess everything. Okay. I like the look. The look is very pretty. Now that I know what I'm doing with the blush situation, like to add a little bit more. That's so pretty. Radiant setting spray because we're kind of all radiant looking. Ugh, I hate this spritzer. Ugh. This one has like the worst spritzer in the world. I'm just going to press this into the skin. Try and take out my clips without pulling out my hair. And here is our look for today. I like the eye look. All right, so I hope you like this look. I hope you had fun. I hope you followed along with me. Um, if you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider joining my channel and subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you are notified um, when I do my next video. Um, we're coming up into the holiday seasons. And um, I've been waiting to get enough subscribers because I actually um, have been collecting some things and wanted to do my first channel giveaway um but i'm stuck on 26 subscribers i had wanted to get to at least 50 or 75 but i don't know i don't know what's going on it seemed to be stuck so um if anybody is interested in joining please you know know once we get to a certain point there will be our first giveaway but in the meantime, those of you that follow along, thank you so much for, for sticking with me here. And um, I hope to see you in my next video. And uh, have a great day. Stay ha happy and safe and healthy. Bye-bye.